Hello, big team. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth, and obviously, I'm in the car. I'm running a few errands, and I thought I would just go ahead and start a new vlog right now. It's a little afternoon on Tuesday, and I have not at this moment yet uploaded my vlog from Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I didn't do any filming on Sunday, but I did some on Saturday and Monday. So, you will hopefully already have seen that by the time you see this because this one is going to at least go through tomorrow and maybe on into Thursday. Rips Out officially ends tomorrow, which is the 20th, and I've got book club on Thursday and all that, so I don't know. I kind of feel like that the stuff I'm reading right now, because I'm reading my book club book and everything, I kind of feel like I won't get all that wrapped up till Thursday, so I may go ahead and just continue this and sort of do a Rips Out wrap up at that point. So anyway, um, today has been a great day so far. We got up pretty early and went for COVID testing. Not because we really needed to. We didn't have any symptoms. It was more just for peace of mind. We'd been around a lot of people. We went out to dinner yesterday for Kay's birthday. And, you know, we've been at church and all of that. And uh, the only other time we've ever been tested was in December. And uh, we were negative then and we were negative today. Our workplace provides a really good place to go that um, is if you get there too late in the day, you're going to wait a while, but we got there pretty early, and so we didn't have that long to wait, and uh, and you get like results within 15 minutes, so it was pretty good. Anyway, so we're happy that we got that done, you know, like I said, peace of mind, and I got back home, and Emily finished up the morning on her e-school on the computer, then she went to take a nap because I had made her get up pretty early, and uh, Katie's home with her doing some homework, and I'm out running errands, so I've got a box here that my husband got ready to mail. Um, it's something he sold from his eBay store. It's pretty big. And uh, I came to the post office, which is where I'm sitting right now, to mail it. And then I realized it's labeled UPS. So I got to go to the UPS store and mail it. And then I'm going to go to the library. I've got a book to pick up. I am almost done with the book on CD that I'm listening to, I Am Half Sick of Shadows by Alan Bradley. It's book four in the Flavie de Luce series. I listened to it on the way to and from to get our testing done because it's about a 30-minute drive. And I'm on the last disc now, so that's great. And then um, the one I'm picking up is one of my most anticipated releases. It just came out in November, and I'm super excited. I will show it to you when I get it. And then while we were in line waiting for testing, I did read several more pages of this, Quotable Quotes, The Book Lover, and uh, I don't have very much left, so I'm excited. Um, I just have this much left. This is technically my fourth book for Ribsat, although I haven't yet finished my third one, and I definitely want to finish both of those, and maybe one more before I consider Ribsat wrapped up for this, um, this round. And I guess that's all I need to tell you right now, and I will um, check back in. I may try to vlog a little bit at the library. I always get in there and forget to vlog. I'm at the library now. I've already been in, and I'm back out, and I don't have time to go back in and vlog any because I need to get home within the next... Uh, 15 to 20 minutes because Katie has to leave for color guard practice. But I did get my book. It is Ready Player Two on CD. So as soon as I finish the Ellen Bradley book, then I am going to start this one. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I loved Ready Player One and I can't wait for Ready Player Two. So then I also got our next, um, our next book club book for February. It's going to be House of Sand and Fog. And I'm looking forward to that. And then I picked up a couple of movies on DVD that my husband had ordered. So I got to go mail this big box. Did I show you the box? I can't remember if I did. Um, anyway, it's a big box from <laughs> that my husband sold an item uh, on our on his eBay store. And it's like this antique milking can or something. I don't know. It's been sitting in our kitchen pantry for like a year now and I'm glad to get it out of there but he got a hundred dollars for it so uh that's good anyway I gotta run I gotta mail this at the UPS store and then I gotta get home hi everyone well it is almost midnight and I am fading fast I did lead some sprints a little while ago on Twitter through the Ripset account and about 10 30 my time eastern time I had to hand over the reins to Miranda because I was starting to fade. 
And since then, I have taken out my contacts, and I was just kind of watching back through what I had filmed today, which wasn't much. I did do a, a little bit of other filming that I incorporated into the vlog that I already uploaded. So it feels like I filmed more than I did. But anyway, I'll film some more tomorrow, and we'll see how that goes. But I have not met my reading goals yet for the day. I have not read, I have not finished my section for my book club book, The Only Woman in the Room, and I haven't finished my quotable quotes book. I really wanted to finish that today. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can read a little bit more before I go to bed, and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Good morning. It is about... 10 a.m. almost on Wednesday morning and I am headed to run just one quick errand and then after that I don't think I have anywhere I have to go today until church tonight. So since it's the last day of rib set I'm planning to do a lot of reading. When I get back I'll have to get Emily on the computer for school. They've actually started they start at nine but um, she sat up early and then laid back down and then went back to sleep. So I didn't make her get up. And then I, <laughs> I kind of went back to sleep myself. I did my devotional reading this morning. And then I thought after that, I would maybe read in my book club book because I didn't get, but maybe one chapter read last night and I'm supposed to read five a day and be done by tomorrow. So I thought, you know what? I only at the time had like 50, 40 or 50 pages left in this book, which is my one of my rib set books that I'm finishing. Well, I'm trying to finish. And I thought, surely I can get that done. This just put me to sleep. I kept fighting sleep. Finally, when I got to the end of the section I was on, which was about... Um, what was it about? It's called The Library. So it's a, it's a section about quotes that have to do with libraries, not just public libraries, but personal libraries and all that. I, I put it down and actually yeah, I put it down a couple times during that section. And then finally I, I got to a short section called the author and the muse. And after I got up and got some more coffee, I got that section read. And then, um, that was maybe just 10 pages and finally, when I got that done, I only have like 20 pages left. I was just, I was just out. I, I laid it down. I thought, I am just going to take a nap. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is not a bad book. Um, it's just a lot of quotes by a lot of classic authors. Some I recognize, some I don't. I think someone who really loves classics would probably eat this up and... I could see maybe like Kaylee from Books for MKs. She would love something like this, and and I'm sure some of you, uh, you know, watching me would. But for me, it's it's just not holding my attention. Anyway, I only have about 20 pages left, so I'm gonna finish this. But it's not my kind of book, really. And I did finish yesterday in my car. I am half sick of shadows by Alan Bradley, so I'm excited about that. And so now I can start Ready Player Two by Ernest Klein. I am excited. I do have uh, quite a bit to read in my book club book, and if I get to yesterday's section and today's section section done, I'll only have maybe five short chapters left. And if I have enough time in the day and enough energy, I may just try to go ahead and finish that today. But I also have Toponymity that was my uh, rib, rib set book prior to this book that I need to finish as well. And it's the last day of rib set, so I want to finish that. So um, I may try to do some live sprints today. By the time this goes up, that will have already happened or not. But if I do, I'll put some, an, like, uh, oh, some. I'll put an announcement on my channel if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> and then, um, see how that goes. Just kind of a test. Maybe, uh, well, I don't know. I guess it depends on how many people join in. If I do more than one sprint or if I do a sprint at all, or if I just get on and test to see if I can do it. Because definitely for March Mystery Madness, we want to do some live shows and I want to learn how to do that. Okay. So before it gets any later, I have an hour to go and pick up um, lunch for Emily. Since she's an e-school student, 
we can go once a week and pick up school lunches. And so it they they open it up for an hour on Wednesday mornings, and you got to go and pick it up if you want it. And so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come back home, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, so I'm doing a live show. We've been on for an hour and 22 minutes, and I just remembered I should include this in my vlog, but um, my camera is starting to freeze up a little bit. So I just want to say hello to all of you, again, who watched the vlog or the um, the live show. Thanks so much for stopping by and commenting. And for all of you guys watching now, uh, I'm sorry you missed it, but we were just chatting, and I'll try to do this again sometime so I finished my live stream a little bit ago and then put in some laundry and sat down to read. I am determined to finish this quote book before I move on to something else. I only have a few pages left. I thought this was a really good quote here by Henry David Thoreau. Read the best books first or you may not have a chance to read them at all. That is very profound. Well, I am back in my car. I didn't think I had anywhere else to go till church time, but it's 5 p.m. and I forgot that I had told the Friends of the Library president that I would come up to the library and help set up for tomorrow's book sale. There's going to be just a small book sale in the lobby of the library from 10 to 1.30 and then we have book club at 2. So I want to go and help and also just kind of get a sneak peek of what's going to be for sale. So I'm still sitting beside my house and I'm running late now so I better go. But I am happy to tell you that I did finish finally that quote book. Um, I finished it after my live stream and I'm so excited. Now I have to finish my book club book and I did not read any in it yet today. So anyway, I'm going to run up and help with set up and then go to church. And then after that, I got to get busy reading. Okay, I have made it up to the library and I'm going to go in and help set up. for. The Man, I said I was running late and they must have gotten an early start. There are. Hi, I'm back. It is now a little after noon on Thursday, January 21st, 2021, and Ribsat officially ended yesterday, and I wanted to go ahead and carry this vlog through until today so that I could just report on one more finish, at least, and um, so here I am. I'm about to head out to book club, so I probably won't get this uploaded until later tonight because it'll take me a little time to watch through the clips and see if there's any editing to be done or whatever. But for Ribset, I read from a shelf of books that mostly had to do with words, and I finished three of those books, and one of them that I started, I didn't finish. I kind of broke a Ribset rule, and I read some of it and skipped on past it, but I will finish it eventually, and that is this book, Toponymity. The one I did finish is by the same author, John Bellman's Marciano. I did read Anonyponymous. These have some similarities. This one's more about people and their names and how those names became synonymous with something. And then this one, Toponymity, is about place names and has a similar similar um, theme. So then I did also finish O Ye Jigs and Juleps by Virginia Harry Virginia Carey Hudson. I had read this before several years ago. It was delightful. And then <laughs> Not as delightful as I hoped it might be. I read Quotable Quotes, The Book Lover. And this, I think, would be very much enjoyed by someone who loves classics. And I can read some classics, but I'm not a huge consumer of classics. And so I didn't know or recognize some of the authors quoted here. I did recognize some of them. And there were a couple of really profound quotes. But for the most part, a lot of it was just too wordy and in t at times went over my head, and as a result, I didn't love this. So I will probably pass this on to someone else or donate it, and like I said, if you love classics, then you would probably love this book. And then I did also finish for Book Club a fantastic book. This is The Only Woman in the Room by Marie Benedict. This is about Hedy Lamarr. I thought it was fascinating, and uh, I'm really looking forward to reading more by this author because her writing style just flowed so smoothly, and I just enjoyed the reading of it. It was not hard to read at all because sometimes I can get kind of bogged down in historical fiction. This was not dry. It was just very interesting, and uh, I'm looking forward to reading more by her. And in my car, I finished an audiobook. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to have my hair in front of me. I have noticed sometimes if I turn sideways and I start talking that maybe, um, you know, maybe you might not know what I'm saying. Although I think I have the closed captioning now, but I don't type that up. That's auto-generated, so sometimes it's not correct. But uh, anyway, in my car, I finished I Am Half Sick of Shadows by Alan Bradley. It's book four in the Flavia Deleuze series, and I enjoyed this one more than the previous books. Um... The guest character, the one who ends up getting murdered, was a very interesting character. And I liked, in this case, that the murder didn't happen until farther into the book because we got to know that character, and she was a very interesting character. Also, I feel like the relationships between the sisters are improving slightly. They're still abominable to each other, but still... It improved slightly. And this one was set at Christmas time, and that added to the story and sort of perpetuated some events, which then led to the demise of the murderer. And so, uh, anyway, this was really good. And on my phone, I also read during Ribsat, not for Ribsat, but during Ribsat, I listened to Help, I've Lost Myself. It's the book three in the Dearest Dorothy series or the Welcome to Partnerville series. And uh, this was cute. I didn't love this one as much as the previous two, but still a great series, and I'm so glad to finally be reading it. And then I guess that's about everything. In fact, um, after I finished these two audiobooks, as of right now, this moment, I don't have any audiobooks on the go. On my Goodreads currently reading shelf, there's five books. Two of them are... Actually, just one of them is a devotional book, and one of them is a is the decluttering challenge book, and uh, and then a couple of other books that I was reading prior to Ribset, and I put them on hold, and I don't remember what the other one is. Anyway, I'll tell you tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday, so I'll do a Friday reads video, and I'll catch you back up on what I'm currently reading and what I'm going to be reading for the rest of January. I just borrowed a few things from Hoopla, and I've also got. Uh, some books, a, a series of books on Audible Plus that I want to get started on because I'm still deciding if I want to keep Audible Plus. My three-month trial membership ends uh, at the end of this month, and there's a whole series on there that I've been really interested in. So I want to get started with that and see if that's a series that I want to keep listening to and, and see if it will be worth keeping Audible Plus for at least another month until I can get to more of those. So anyway, I had a great time during Ribsat. Thank you so much, Miranda, for hosting it and coming back to YouTube and BookTube and doing the Ribsat reunion. Thank you to the other hosts that I met and, and chatted with, especially Libby and Heather. And um, all of you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for um, just everything that you did for Ribset, and I I had a, a blast. And thank you to all of you who watched my live show yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Just getting a little more comfortable with that and learning how to do it and, and everything. It was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to have to learn how to invite other people so that I can do it again and have some guests on. And hopefully we'll get all that ironed out um, soon because for the Little House Readathon, I am going to host my other co-host over onto my channel, and that's Naomi from Naomi's Bookshelf. So on February 13th, we're going to have a live show and uh, I'm excited about it. So, anyway, my next big readathon coming up is the Little House Readathon, which is February 7th through the 10th. Meanwhile, I'm going to finish up some books for the month of January and then probably focus a lot in February on reading things related to Laura Ingalls Wilder. So, uh, that's all for this video. I'll see you back tomorrow for Friday Reads. And thank you for watching through my vlogs. If you did, um, oh, I wanted to answer one question that was uh, asked in the comment, and I don't think I've had a chance to respond to that. And I had intended to answer it in the vlog, but I had deleted that part. Um, I showed a couple of days ago, I guess it was uh, from Saturday, I had a little yard sale book sale, and it was mainly just for the benefit of some people I'd been corresponding with on Facebook Marketplace. So one couple did come, and then the other couple that was, uh, or the other person who was definitely supposed to come, uh, didn't make it. And then I had been in touch with another person previously who had been wanting to come out and get some books for a school project, and um, they either didn't see the message or they don't need don't need books anymore. I don't know, because I didn't hear back from him. So um, the answer to the question was, did I sell it or 
the question was, did I sell any more books? And no, I did not. But I have some other plans for um, moving those books out. And I did have someone comment um, to that video that they were interested in the Grace Livingston Hill books. So I'm excited about that because I would like to give those books a new home. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I've got to go and get Emily ready and head out the door to book club and to the tail end of the library book sale that they're having at our library today. I did look through the books last night and I brought home three romances, but um, I didn't see a whole lot that I needed, but I'll... I'll take another look and see if there's anything left that I just must have. But for now, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and just being all around awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.